Welcome back to another vlog guys. Uh, today is, uh, was it Thursday the 13th of May? Um, just about to have some food or cook some food. Uh, I'm not gonna have all of it because I am cooking quite a lot, but I'll show you what I'm gonna have. There I've got some chicken thighs, which I'm gonna have. Uh, I'm actually gonna be having chicken thighs a bit more often now, just because instead of chicken breast, I want it to be a little more fatty because I'm trying to eat as much as possible, get as many calories in. I'm trying to eat about three and a half to 4,000 calories if, poss if possible. As I'm gonna be eating as much as possible, I have as well got some new protein powder. So I've got some new Mascana protein. Um, the serving size is quite a lot, it's a lot of calories, so I probably won't actually have the entire serving size, maybe about half or three quarters of it. Um, I'm, I'm not too sure how many times a day, maybe just once a day, straight after my workout. Not 100% sure yet, but I'm trying to get, as I said, about three and a half to 4,000 calories a day if I can as well. And I will say as well, I did actually go to a shop um, called London Supplements as well, a uh, supplement store, which I'll show you actually what I got. So you'll be, I've never been able to find this anywhere in the UK, but as you can see, I got through a few 3D energy drinks. So Christian Guzman's company, 3D Energy, just got a few of them. Um, I've already tried the blue one before, which is actually really nice. I like the blue one, but I've never tried the purple, the, what is that, green, and the white one. Never tried that one before, so I'm going to try them out and see how it is. I went out shopping today as well, so I'll show you the other things I got. I got some Uncle Ben's rice packets, as you can see there. So a few of them, I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to be trying to eat as much as I can. So at the moment, I have maybe about one packet a day. Uh, sorry, one packet with a, mi uh, a meal. I might see if I can have two packets in one meal, if I can. Um, also got some uh, Snapper Jack rice cakes, caramel flavor, my favorite flavors. Um, got some eggs, 12 eggs, free range eggs there. And I've actually got another pack, you can see underneath as well. So I've actually got 24 eggs. I'm trying to be having in the morning three egg, uh, three whole eggs and two egg whites. And also got some Weetabix as well. So you can see there, it's worth some protein Weetabix. Let me again, try to eat as much as I can if I can maybe I'll turn around actually it's going to be having about uh, maybe six to eight blocks of Weetabix in the morning so again I'm going to be having loads so my uh, mornings breakfast what I'm going to have about not too sure as I said about six to eight blocks uh, the Weetabix protein Weetabix and as well have a scrambled egg with five egg whites uh sorry yeah five egg whites and three of them are going to be the whole eggs um so three full eggs as well so I'm going to I said trying to be eat as much as possible and as well as I did say I got the uh the mascana, which I will show you as well, I'll show you maybe, maybe a bit later, but I'm going to have some of the mascana as well, probably straight after my workout, um, to help me get enough calories as possible. Also, I didn't say, but I've also got some Nando's lemon herb dressing here. So I'm just going to pour that over top. Let's see how it goes. That's it. I don't know how much to do exactly. Just see how much I use. And I'm going to pour that as a dressing over top the chicken. I think on that one, I've got maybe a bit too much, but I might move it around to the other ones as well. So again, just to give it a little bit more flavor. Otherwise, if it's literally just dry chicken, it doesn't really taste the best. I know it's a bit more fatty chicken, but again, it is not really the best otherwise. Um, and like I said, I'm bulking, so I'm trying to get as many calories in. So for me, sauces is nothing too. I'm not really cutting down the sauces really at all at the moment. Well, I'll show you the um, the protein I got, uh, the mascana. So this is the protein. I'm gonna show you there. So about that mascana protein by the company is MHP. I've never actually really got anything from MHP before, so I'm not even too sure how good it is. But I've actually heard, uh, went online a little bit, uh, looked at it and apparently got quite good reviews anyway. So I'm gonna test it out and see what it's like anyway. Um, and I got the, what was it, the um, it's chocolate fudge flavor. So I'll see how it is, again, mass bro uh, mass gainer. And I'll just check the macros as well quickly. So it is, what is it? Per, per serving with water, it's uh, 58 grams of protein. Sorry, no, 58 grams of carbs, um, fat, 11 grams, and protein, 46 grams. That's per serving, which I'm not too sure how many scoops. Oh, that's for four scoops. Um, so I probably won't actually have four scoops. I'm probably going to have less. I think I'll have two scoops. I might have half that instead. So um, yeah, 
so it'd be half of 58 um with the amount of carbs i'll be having um yeah and everything else would be i think a half instead just because it otherwise it won't last too long and i want to get really more uh full proper foods to be honest as well so it's, it is best to be honest to have proper food um more of that like chicken rice um veg potato other meats and things like that as well and another thing i've got as well which actually just came well i came through the post about three days ago um is my pre-workout and um, which i've said about it before on my instagram as well which i'll put my instagram on the screen actually um but yeah i said it on my instagram and the pro uh, the pre-workout is edge of insanity as you can see so again by psycho pharma very good pre-workout probably the best one on the market in my opinion anyway but the thing is about it it's not actually been fda fda approved um so it hasn't actually been approved by the company so it cannot be sold in this country so it's actually illegal in this country but um but yeah i've got anyway i got it from america you can actually get it uh down uh get it shipped here as well so i got it shipped here and it might have just got banned in america i'm not too sure um i did actually read a post saying about it got banned in america but um because it's got dma dmaa in it but uh, not just got banned in america i think maybe the company basically banned it i think it was gave all the products back to the company as well because the dma is in it but basically i think they took the cup to the products from uh from psycho pharma but i think psycho pharma got the um the all the edge of insanity um boxes back and everything i'm not 100 sure i may look into that more but again this is very good pre-workout i'm going to be using it today i'm going to be training legs and i'm not working today i'm actually uh at, going to be at genesis gym um because i'm not working so i'm going to be going to the gym any second now it's not even great weather it's raining unfortunately but yeah i'm going to be going to the gym training legs and you will probably see this leg workout i am on my way to the gym right now um i am actually as i said before i'm doing legs but I'm not even too sure if I'm going to do squats, actually. Just because I haven't even done it in my last two leg workouts. Just because my back is paying up a little bit, it feels like. It actually does, actually. I don't know what it is at all, but it's more of an upper or mid-back. Upper mid-back. Uh, like when I wear, like, bend down, it does seem like it hurts a bit. Um, and it seems like if I press on my spine a little bit, like, on the... Uh, yeah, press my spine, it does it seem like it hurts a bit. So I'm not even too sure what it is. Hope you, I hope it's nothing too serious, but um, yeah, I'm gonna see, do squats and see how they feel. If I don't feel great at all, I won't do them. Or if I do them, I, um, I probably won't go too heavy, uh, like max, maybe 100, well, maybe 110 or something like that, but I'll see, I'm not too, even too sure yet. This is 
my leg workout and have a taste test of this new protein. <clears throat> oh that's quite nice actually. So I think it's chocolate fudge is the flavour. It's actually not bad at all. I think I may need to shake up a little bit. It's a little bit clumpy but it's good protein definitely. I just want to say quickly that about the protein that I had. I realised once I was having a bit more of it, I do like it the taste. It's got a good taste. But there's one thing it does seem a bit let's say gritty the uh, uh the taste of it and everything so it does just seem i don't know it's quite hard to describe like maybe like it doesn't mix very well it just seems like in my um my opinion just don't, yeah just doesn't seem like it mix very well like very gritty tasting or very like sand sort of thing as if you you can taste the powder basically um which i've actually had protein i don't know protein i think yeah i think it's protein um, from I think it was someone else's once um, that I tried before as well and that was similar sort of thing as well so yeah it is good tasting protein but I just want to say that in my experience I know what I think and I'm just giving an honest review here is that I think it is a bit gritty tasting um, and that was what with water I did have so um, next time I have it I might actually have it with milk instead and it might actually end up being um, less gritty tasting I might be make it thicker may make it mix better um as well so you never know but i'm gonna see anyway um when i have it with milk but yeah as i said i'm just chilling and when i did get home i had some food but i did actually because i haven't actually done this in about a month or no about two months actually i actually ordered a pizza so i'll show you so i actually got papa john's oh, well, i actually well i got a pizza but dessert i actually got some uh brownies here chocolate brownies as you can see i haven't had all of it or much of it just because it was quite rich so i just wanted to um have just have a little bit get a taste of it and everything but um i'll probably have a rest of it another time i think or tomorrow but yeah the rest of it just pizza which i've had as you can see um so yeah i think i had a, I had a uh, chicken barbecue pizza yeah it was really good i always go for papa john's as well myself if i do have pizza i don't have it all the time but if i do have it 
I do feel like I do prefer Papa John's out of Papa John's and Domino's. Just because in my experience, I just think Domino's is a bit more too greasy, to be honest. And I don't like um, pieces too um, greasy as well. And nothing, it do, I don't know why, but it just seems like in my area, the um, the Domino's that delivers to, to me seems like it doesn't have the best service either. Like I think my sister's um, ordered for them before and I've actually ordered from there once or twice before and it just doesn't they always come a bit late like half an hour late or something like that or they mess up your order or sometimes they even forgot your order so you have to do it again so i've just given up with their to so i just go to papa john's now which i like anyway so yeah but um but yeah that was my day anyway um i hope you enjoyed it